at the end of the first round, Bueman Senior High School has eight points. Sunyani Senior High School has 13 points. Four more rounds to go. Round two. This round is also known as a speed race. The questions in the round are directed to all three schools simultaneously. In order to get an opportunity to answer a question, you need to ring your bell. May I hear your bell, Sunyane? <coughs> West Africa. <coughs> Bueman. <coughs> Again. To be on the safe side, Sunyane, West Africa, Bueman, all right. If you ring and answer correctly on the first attempt, three points. On the second attempt, two points. On the third attempt, one point. If it, at any point you attempt a question and you are unable to answer, you get that penalty point, loss of one point. For questions that require calculations, you have a maximum of 30 seconds to present your answer. If there are no calculations, you have 10 seconds maximum to present that answer. Best wishes, everybody. First question, 30 seconds. Hydrogen gas can be made to react with nitrogen gas to produce ammonia. Give a balanced equation and calculate. Yes, go ahead, Abdul. Okay. Madam, please. N2 plus 3H2 to give you 2NH3. Okay, so I continue. And calculate the mass of hydrogen in grams required to produce 1.7 kilogram of ammonia. Atomic mass for nitrogen is 14.0. For hydrogen, Which of you, OT? Nam, 1.5 times 10 to the power 3 grams. Too late. The right answer, 3H2 plus N2 going to 2NH3, and it's 300 grams of H2. Second question, 30 seconds. Hot ion filings react with sulfur to give ion 2 sulfide. In one typical reaction, when 6.22 grams of impure ion is made to react with excess sulfur, 8.8 .8 grams of ion 2 sulfide is obtained. If the yield of the method is 100%, what is the purity of the ion? Please give your answer to one place of decimal. Atomic mass for ion is 56.0. For sulfur, it's 32.
the right answer is 90.0 percent. 10 seconds. What is the current atmospheric level of CO2 in parts per million? The right answer is 400 parts per million. A lot of news was made when we hit this value. Mm, you don't follow the news, global warming and all that. Okay, next set, 10 seconds for all of them. Name the parts of a plant that may be produced by the lateral bud. Yes. The branches. Sahine. The branches. Lateral branches. Yes, uh, Isaac. The leaves and the branches. <laughs> okay. In round two, there's nothing like bonus or uh, partial credit, right? Okay, so the right answer is branches, new leaves, and flowers. Next one, name the two systems which help to coordinate the actions of the human body. Yes, which of you, Isaac? No, the, so the nervous system and the endocrine system. You are right. <laughs> which process makes the greatest contribution to the movement of water up the trunk Yes. Transmi transpirational pool. Okay. <laughs> For the next set, you have 30 seconds. Solve the equation. X minus 0.05X is equal to 19. Yes, which of you, Abdul? X is equal to 20. Yes. <laughs> A sequence is defined by the recurrence relation. UN is equal to UN minus 1 plus 3. U1 is equal to 3. Find the first three terms of the sequence. Yes, three. which of you, Sahine? Three, six, nine. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Find the indefinite integral. Integral of the expression 5x raised to the power 4 minus 3x squared plus 6x dx. Yes, which of you, OT? X power 5 minus S cubed plus 3S squared plus C. Yes. <laughs> Next question, 10 seconds. What is the function of the evacuated space between the silvered walls of a thermos flask? Yes, Isaac. It prevents the escape of heat through vacuum by creating a vacuum space. I'm not accepting that. Yes, uh, Henry. It prevents heat loss through conduction and convection. You are right. <laughs> 30 seconds. The focal length of a convergent lens is 5 centimeters. Find the magnification of a real image which has formed 11 centimeters from the lens. Abdul. 1.2, yeah, 1.2. Yes. <laughs> I thought you were going to add a unit for me. 
<laughs> Last question. 30 seconds. A radio frequency transformer is wound with 20 primary turns and 8 secondary turns. What is the amplitude of the input current needed for an output current amplitude of 10 microamperes, assuming the transformer is ideal? Yes, Abdul. For my grandpa. You're right. <laughs> That's the end of the second round. At the end of the second round, Bueman Senior High School has 12 points. <laughs> Sunyani Senior High School has 17 points. <laughs> West Africa Senior High School has 23 points. Round three. This round has the problem of the day. The problem of the day is a single question to all three schools. From the time I ask you to begin, you will have three minutes in which to present an answer from your school. The problem of the day is worth 10 points. Let's turn over our sheets and read the problem of the day together. Problem of the day. Hydrogen iodide decomposes according to the reversible equation given. Two HI gas going reversibly to H2 gas plus I2 gas. An amount of five mole of HI gas was placed in a 10 decimeter cube vessel and heated to 450 degrees Celsius. If at equilibrium, the mixture was found to contain 0.4 mole I2 vapor, calculate the Kc of the equilibrium at 450 degrees Celsius. Please give your answer to three significant figures. Also estimate the value of Kp of the equilibrium. Contestant, this is your problem of the day. You may now begin.
Stop writing and present your answers. Thank you. Where is your school name? Thank you. Yeah. School name.
ready. Contestants, please pick up your notepads and present your answers on the board as you have them here. Um, women, come, one moment. I want you to take note of something. What is this? The contestants have presented their answers. Before I award the marks, let's look at the suggested solution from our consultant. This is a problem in chemistry. 
So we have hydrogen iodide, which decomposes according to a reversible equation. And the equation is given 2HI gas going reversibly to H2 gas plus I2 gas. We are told that an amount, we start with 5 moles of HI gas in a container, a 10 decimeter cubed container, a vessel. Then the vessel is heated to 450 degrees Celsius. Now at equilibrium, the mixture was found to contain 0.4 mole I2 vapor. And the contestants were to calculate the Kc of the equilibrium at 450 degrees Celsius and to give the answer to three significant figures. And after doing all that, they were also to es estimate the value of Kp of the equilibrium. Let's start with trying to figure out what the Kc of this equilibrium is going to be. Okay, so we can calculate first the numbers of moles. Let's do this systematically. We started with five mole of HI, five mole. When we got to equilibrium, we should have certain uh, values. So at equilibrium, we, have, we are told that there is 0.4 mole of I2. That means there has to be 0.4 moles of H2 as well because the equation demands this. Then at this point, we need to remember that matter can neither be created nor destroyed. So if we have 0 0.4 and 0 0.4, then the HI must have reduced by this amount. Okay, so the HI started at 5, we should subtract 0 0.8 from it to get 4.2 mole. Okay, if you are able to get this far, two points. Now we have the number of moles. We are now ready to calculate the Kc. But before we can do calculations of Kc, we need concentrations, not just the moles, right? Luckily, we've been told that the vessel has a volume of 10 decimeter cubed. So all we have to do is to take the number of moles and divide by the 10 decimeter cubed to get the concentration for each of these species. Okay, so we are now set and ready to go to calculate the Kc. The Kc is going to be the concentration of H2 multiplied by the concentration of I2 divided by the concentration of HI squared as demanded by the equation, the balanced equation. All right, so just substitute. Okay, for knowing this relationship for Kc, I was given uh, one point. Now... If you are able to substitute correctly and get somewhere, then we'll add more points. Okay. So we have 0 0.4 divided by 10 multiplied by 0 0.4 divided by 10 over 4.2 divided by 10 squared. If you continue the process to simplify, you get 16 times 10 to the negative 4 divided by 17.64 times 10 to the power 2. More simplification, 160 times 10 to the power negative 5 divided by 17.64 times 10 to the negative 2. And if you go through all this, you will get um, 9.07 times 10 to the power negative 3 or 0 0.00907. Okay, so along the way, you, you can pick up one more point for the process, two more points when you get that final answer. So, so far we have six points surrounding the KC alone. Okay, now to get KP. If you have KC, there's a relationship between KC and KP, right? So KP is equal to the KC multiplied by RT raised to the power delta N. I know this is a very popular relationship. You all know this. In this particular case, Delta N is zero. And so uh, we are ready to go. It makes the calculation very easy indeed. So but for recognizing this, for knowing the relationship, and for recognizing that delta N is zero, two points. So we are set to calculate K, Kp. Kp is simply equal to Kc, because if you have that exponent to be zero, the whole thing tends to one, right? So Kp is equal to Kc, and the value is the same, which is, 9.07 times 10 to the negative 3, or 0 0.00907.
two more points to give a total of 10 points. Contestants, things did not go well for some people. In fact, for most people, people were destroying matter. <laughs> anyway, after looking, <laughs> that is for knowing the how to calculate KC formula. Even the substitution, the values there are not correct values. So one out of ten. Boy, Mancina High School, you are not that better off. You also have issues. You have uh, your concentrations being wrong. In fact, you have your KC, that relationship there. The relationship is right. Uh, and you actually started substituting. Some of the substitutions are right, but no. It's not 100% right. So I'm giving you the one point for knowing how to get to KC. Uh, one more point for some of the substitutions, the concentration. You calculated some two of the concentrations correctly, but for HI, no, that's not correct. And so that's one more point, giving you a total of two out of 10. West Africa, you started well, except that the initial concentrations, you know that HI cannot be zero. Uh, it's given in the question that it's five moles. Mm? Okay, so it's five moles, and you actually acknowledge that by using five moles, but you have initial zero there. I don't know what that is about. Anyway, I can close my eyes a little bit to that. Okay. Now, at equilibrium, you got the right numbers of mole. You calculated your concentrations correctly, you knew the equation for KC, right? So for the right uh, number of moles and concentrations, you got two points there, you knew that relationship and substituted cor correctly. That's two more points. The problem was finishing this work. So you couldn't get to the end of that calculation to get the rest of the points there and you were not able to even get to the second part to get your KP. And so you have four out of 10, although you knew what you were doing. That's the end of the problem of the day and the end of round three. You may pick up your notepads. Thank you. Before we begin the fourth round, I would like to acknowledge that the National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service through the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools. We have support also from TIGO, GOL, Prudential Life Insurance, Accra College of Medicine, and GCB Bank. We are produced by Primetime. Thank you. Round four. In this round, I'm going to be presenting you with statements. When you receive a statement, please consider that statement very carefully and let me know whether it's true or false. If you are right, two points. If you are incorrect, you lose a precious point. You may choose not to respond, in which case that statement becomes available to the two other schools. 
a school may ring and attempt an answer. If the answer is right, two, four points. If the answer is incorrect, a penalty, one point. Best wishes, everyone. I'm going to start with a preamble, after which I'll come to you, Sunyane. Preamble. State whether the following statements about lipids are true or false. That's the preamble. Now, Sunyane, triglycerides are the only known lipids. Yes, Henry. False. You're right. With the same preamble, women, one type of lipid, the triglycerides, is sequestered as fat in adipose cells, which serve as the energy storage depot for organisms and also provide thermal insulation. Yes, Isaac. True. Yes. <laughs> West Africa. If lipids are present in a food substance, Sudan 4 solution will stain them blue-black. Yes, Abdul? Madam, please, false. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so biology consultant, actually, we need more adipose uh, cells with lipids to keep us warm when it's too cold here, right? <laughs> All right. Sunyane. The sum of the exterior angles of a polygon is two straight angles. Yes, Uti. True. Yes. <laughs> Speak boldly and with confidence. Women, the sum of the interior angles of a polygon exceeds the sum of its exterior angles. Yes, Emmanuel. False. Yes. <laughs> West Africa, the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is six right angles. Abdul. True. Yes. <laughs> A brown gas that turns blue litmus red and bleaches the litmus could be bromine gas. Yes, Henry. False. Oh, that's a true statement. A colorless gas that has no effect on litmus but burns with a yellow flame when ignited may be carbon 2 oxide. Yes, Isaac? False. Yes. <laughs> a brown gas with a characteristic smell that turns blue litmus red could be hydrogen iodide. Yes. Is the sound okay? False. False. Sunyane, the Newton second is a unit of linear momentum. Yes, Oti? True. Yes. 
the joule second is a unit of angular momentum. Yes, Isaac? False. No. That's a true statement. <laughs> the kilogram meter squared per second is a unit of power. Abdul. Madam, please, true. No, <laughs> this is a false statement. Convergent evolution is the independent evolution of similar structures among related organisms as a result of similar environmental pressures. Yes, Henry? It's false. Yes. <laughs> Genetic drift is a change in the allele frequencies in a small population purely by chance. Emmanuel? True. Yes. Adaptation is the equal survival and reproduction of organisms, resulting in the preservation of favorable qualities. Yes, Sahine. False. Yes. <laughs> the sequence, one, negative two, three, negative four, five, and so on, is a linear sequence. OT? False. Yes. <laughs> the sequence, 10, 7, 4, 1, negative 2, and so on, is a linear sequence. Yes, Emmanuel. True. Yes. <laughs> the sequence, 2, 6, 24, 96, and so on, is a geometric sequence. Abdul. False. Yes. The hybridization of carbon in graphite and diamond is sp3. Yes, Henry. False. Yes. <laughs> CHCl3 is likely to have a greater dipole moment than CCl4. Manuel. True. Yes. <laughs> the bond angle of the sp3 hybridized orbitals in ammonia is approximately 107 degrees. Sahine. True. Yes. <laughs> Last set of statements. The height to which an object thrown vertically rises is proportional to the local acceleration due to gravity. Yes, OT? False. Yes. <laughs> the height to which an object thrown vertically rises is proportional to the initial kinetic energy of the object. Emmanuel. True. Yes. <laughs> Last statement. The height to which an object thrown vertically rises is proportional to the launch speed of the object.
Fahine. True. No. That's a false statement. And that's the end of the fourth round. At the end of the fourth round, Bueman Senior High School has 27 points. <laughs> Sunyani Senior High School has 31 points. <laughs> West Africa Senior High School has 37 points. <laughs> Fifth and final round, round five. In this round, I'm going to be reading out clues. Your objective is to solve the riddle. If you solve the riddle on the first clue, five points. On the second clue, four points. On the third or any clue thereafter, three points. In order to attempt a riddle, you need to ring your bell. May I hear your bell, Sunyane? <coughs> West Africa. <coughs> Bueman. When you ring, the answer must be ready. There are four riddles. I am a scalar quantity closely associated with a particular vector quantity. I am an electromagnetic quantity. I, a, I am featured in Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Induced EMFs equal my rate of decrease. My SI unit is the Weber. Yes, Abdul. Magnetic flux. You are right. <laughs> I read the fifth clue. Three points. Next one. I am a set of measurements. I am some kind of information. Usually, I am numerical information. I represent facts or information collected, but not yet analyzed. Yes, Henry. Data. You are right. <laughs> they solved the riddle on the fourth clue. Three points. You may refer to me as a purification technology or process. In my process, pressure is applied for water molecules to move against a concentration gradient through a partially permeable membrane. I am used in desalination of seawater to make it drink drinkable. In the production of bottled mineral water, I am used to remove pollutants and microorganisms. I am the process of osmosis in reverse. Reverse osmosis. Yes. <laughs> Reverse. 
verse osmosis. They saw the riddle on the fifth and final clue, three points. Last riddle. I am an organic compound. I am usually synthesized by combining two basic functional groups. Acid hydrolysis of me will normally split me up to give two organic compounds, while base hydrolysis of me will give a compound and a salt. I belong to a group of compounds with a name sounding like a female name. When I am hydrolyzed, my alkanoic acid component has five carbons in a straight chain. My alkanol component has only two sp3 carbons. So who am I? Yes, Abdul. Heptanamide. Heptanamide. No. Yes, which of you, OT? Ital Pentanoid. You are right. I read all the clues, three points, and that's the end of the fifth round. At the end of the contest, here are the final scores. Bueman Senior High School has 27 points. <laughs> Sunyani Senior High School has 37 points. <laughs> West Africa Senior High School has 43 points. <laughs> Senior High School, thank you for being here. All the best. Sunyani Senior High School, thank you for being here too. You did your best. Unfortunately, this is not the year. All the best to you. West Africa Senior High School. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the contest. Well done. Prepare well, and I look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. <laughs> Viewers, we've just come to the end of another one day stage contest. Next time, we'll bring you the 16th contest in this stage. And that contest is going to feature Agri Memorial Senior High School, Notre Dame Girls Senior High School, and Nandom Senior High School. Make plans to be with us. Before we leave, I would like to acknowledge that the National Science and Math Quiz is sponsored by the Ghana Education Service through the Conference of Heads of Assisted Secondary Schools. We are also supported by TIGO, GOL, Prudential Life Insurance, Accra College of Medicine, 
GCB Bank, and we are produced by Prime Time. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this contest. See you next time. Bye.